Hi, I'm Melinda Tescada Malane, Editorial Director of Imaging Technology News, and we are here today at AAPM 2015, and we're speaking with Andrew Hernandez, who is a graduate student and researcher at the University of California, Davis. And here at AAPM, he's presenting his abstract on Monte Carlo simulation of glandular breast dose and mammography using breast CT-derived glandular distributions. So thank you for being here with us today, Andrew. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about this study? In this study, we used a comprehensive model of the breast uh, using a large cohort of dedicated breast CT images to come up with a realistic depiction of the breast anatomy. From this, we were able to find in mammography that the radiation dose is actually 30% lower than what's what been previously assumed for the last three decades. Excellent. And what does this mean for patient care? Um, so essentially what this means is that the risk associated with routine mammograms are lower by about the same factor, and therefore the e efficacy of routine mammograms is that much greater. Great. So does this suggest that it might be a good idea for younger women to get screened? Um, not necessarily. The decision to screen is, is a computation based both on benefit and risk, and so we have to look at both, both of those, not just the risk. Okay. So does this mean it would be okay to increase the dose in certain patients with more dense breasts in order to be sure to find cancer if it does exist? Yeah, so we're not necessarily advocating that we increase the dose levels in mammography. The issue of detecting cancer in dense breasts has to do with normal anatomical features obscuring the ability to detect these cancers in a term we call anatomical noise. And so increasing the dose levels won't necessarily be able to find these cancers in the dense breasts. Based on your findings, what might this mean for mammography if confirmed by larger studies? Our findings demonstrate that the radiation dose levels of mammography are 30% lower, and so it's safer. And so it's apparent that the radiation dosimetry methods used routinely in mammography need to be fundamentally updated to address these realistic distributions of glandular tissue. And Andrew, you're presenting this here at AAPM yes, this week? Yes, I am. Great. Tomorrow morning. Okay, excellent. And then will the findings be... Uh, posted on the AAPM website if people want more information? Yeah, we actually just got, ex our paper just got accepted in the Journal of Medical Physics, Excellent. so this year I would say that'll be out in the Journal of Medical Physics. Excellent. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank we you. We appreciate your time. Thank you.